All right, here we go. Question number seven from our 1316, homework number eight in my lab math. It says to write the vector v in the form ai plus bj, that's standard form, given its magnitude is 40 and the angle it makes with the positive x-axis is 300 degrees. So over here, I've written down the formula that we're going to be using any time that you're given the magnitude and direction angle. So I call this the M and D formula for magnitude and direction. You have to be given the magnitude and the angle theta, the direction angle. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's given in degrees or radians, either one is fine. And so all we need to do at this point is plug and play to find our vector. So the magnitude is 40 and the angle is 300 degrees. All right, so the first step is done. The plug, now the play part. We're going to need to distribute the 40 so that we can get the vector in standard form. That's going to be 40 times cosine 300 degrees. And all of that is going to be the value for A, which is going to be the coefficient of I. And then plus 40 times sine of 300 whatever that works out to be will be the value for b which is the coefficient of j and now we can either plug all of that into the calculator or we can go to the unit circle which is what i'm going to do i happen to know that cosine of 300 that is the x coordinate at 300 degrees which is a half And for the same angle, sine of 300 would be the y-coordinate, which is negative square root of 3 over 2. And then I can simplify. So we're almost there. Half of 40 is 20. And a negative times a positive makes a negative half of 40 again is 20 that's going to be 20 square root of 3 j and so now i have my vector in terms of a uh, i i think i wrote a j there instead a i plus b j where a is 20 and b is negative 20 square root of 3. So for a, the coefficient of i, that should be 20. Oh, and notice they already put the minus, so I don't need to put minus. I just need to put 20 square root of 3. All right, watch that close. If they already include the minus, you don't have to include it in the box. Wow, and we're done. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.